the Supreme Allied Commander at NATO, Admiral James Stavridis is with us right now. He's also the author of the new book, The Accidental Admiral. Admiral Stavridis, always good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. We're getting new information right now, Admiral, as far as uh, Egyptian officials saying that they are seeing two objects, uh, Greek officials rather, Greek officials are saying that they see two objects in the sea. And also Leah Gabriel, a former Navy pilot, just came out a moment ago and said that uh, the new information that we're getting now shows that it wasn't just uh, this airliner disappearing in the air. In fact, we saw it make a turn and then another turn as if suggesting there was a struggle in the cockpit. What's your takeaway on this breaking story this morning, sir? I know, Leah. I think her, uh, her views are, are pretty accurate. Uh, the bottom line is, Maria, you know this, we don't know yet. But um, I think the, the movement of the aircraft could be a struggle in the cockpit. It could, it's conceivable it could be a mechanical problem and the pilot is trying to regain control. Or it could be a, a small explosion of some kind that damages the control mechanism and the pilot's trying to gain control. Too soon to tell, but I agree with the Egyptian minister. I agree with the Russian uh, assessment which has just come out, which is that the likelihood of terrorism contributing to this, causing it, is uh, approaching a, a higher level every minute. Judge Janine is here with us this morning, and, and, and you have to believe, Judge, that they would not have said that if they didn't have something else. They must have something and, else. And you know what? It's, some, it's happening very quickly yeah. because it, was, it wasn't that long ago that they came out and were very, you know, uh, kind of shaky on they what were it was or wasn't. They were You know, we're not ruling in, we're not ruling out. But that tells us that there is something going on that they know. And I really believe that people on that plane will have tweeted, emailed, and there will be evidence that we'll find out of a struggle if indeed that's what that's was. Yeah, Mike Baker, weigh in here because Greek controllers say that they tried to reach the Airbus A320 when it crossed through Greek airspace, but they got no response. Yeah, they, they, they had contact with it, then they tried one last time before it, it started to move into Egyptian airspace. They didn't get that response. Uh, look, the Admiral and, and others are absolutely correct. You, again, you've got to look at every possibility. The fact that you have this unusual movement of and by itself doesn't speak to a terrorism incident, but very interesting to the judge's point, the comments now coming from the Egyptian authorities, they are parsing their words very carefully. They're not going to start going off in this direction and saying the likelihood of terrorism is, more, is, is stronger than, than mechanical fear without a reason. So yeah. they're sitting on a yeah. piece of information Admiral, right now. Go ahead. What do you think of this? Final word from you, sir. Yeah, I think uh, that there's a strategic and a geopolitical bit of evidence here, which is simply that if it is ISIS, and I think that's more likely than not, um, Egypt is their prime target. Oh, yeah. They know it's a huge population. They want to go after it. it. The suspicion that falls to them as a result of the geopolitical piece added to the other issues I think makes this look uh, like a terrorist they, incident. They want to at terrorize this point. it, they, they, Right, yeah. and, and by their. their they're attacking the economy, but to to that's exactly. to add the admiral's point. and also yeah. LCC and the overthrow of the Muslim Brotherhood and Morsi. Admiral, good to see you. Thank you so much, sir. Admiral James, Jeffrey is there. We'll be Great right back. Great to see you, Maria. Thank you.